at 10.15 a.m. Nova Scotia Provincial Emergency Management officials contacted the RCMP to offer the use of the public emergency alerting system. We were in the process of preparing an alert when the gunman was shot and killed by the RCMP. Mounties trying to explain why Nova Scotians at risk from a spree shooter wearing an RCMP uniform weren't being warned through the emergency alert system, but Twitter instead. Nova Scotia Premier Stephen McNeil says the alert system was ready to send a message, but they were waiting for the go-ahead from RCMP. We would not go from what's happening uh, by Twitter. We would need the, the lead agency to actually craft the message so that we could put that out and no message was received, uh, even though EMO had reached out a number of times throughout the morning uh, to the RCMP. The original call to uh, the RCMP was to one of our members here at headquarters uh, and you can appreciate then there were a series of phone calls that had to be made to, to find uh, the uh, officer in charge uh, on the evening and to speak to the CIC, that's the incident commander, to have the conversation about the issuing of a message. So a lot of the delay was based on uh, communications between uh, the EMO and the various officers and then a discussion about what the uh, message uh, uh, would, would be, how it would be constructed and what it would say. Mounties were first made aware of an active shooter around port pic just before 10.30 Saturday night and say they became aware that the shooter had broken through their perimeter the next morning. At 8 that morning, Mounties issued a public warning over Twitter, but not every resident saw the message. No, I got a warning around 11.17 um, from a family member to lock my doors. We we heard the night before there was a shooting in Portapik, and then we never heard any more. Cheryl Maloney lives in Shubenacadie and never saw the Twitter warning. Instead, she says a family member told her to shelter in place. Maloney says she was only a kilometer from where Constable Heidi Stevenson was killed, and if it wasn't for cold weather, she might have been outside in her yard at the time. He would have already passed my house or was passing my house around that time. And I think it's just starting to sink in now um, how vulnerable I was, my son and I, here. Now, Mounties say there are Canadian Armed Forces staff on the ground in Nova Scotia now supporting local investigators. And they say they believe the suspect acted alone, but are now looking into the possibility that someone may have assisted him before the shooting incident. One more detail to report, RCMP say they don't believe the suspect had a Canadian firearms acquisition certificate, leading to questions as to where he got his weapons from. In Ottawa, Shao Lee Lee, City News.